A baseball pitching machine throws baseballs with a velocity V0 in a horizontal direction. Knowing that the height h at which the ball arrives at the batter varies between 788 millimeters and 1068 millimeters, that would be the strike zone here. Determine two things. First, the range of values of v0, the, the initial velocity, and the values of alpha corresponding to the height 788 millimeters and the height 1068 millimeters. Alpha is, is shown here. It's the angle with respect to the horizontal at which the ball arrives. Okay, so you can see this is a, a simplified pitching machine. It just throws straight um, horizontal pitches at varying velocities and if the velocity is you know, very fast, the ball will drop less than if the, vo if the velocity is slow. So let's solve this problem. We'll start with uh, part A. And we're going to look at uh, try and determine the different velocities, the initial velocity. So how are we going to do this? Well, what, what we know is that um, the motion in the x direction and the y direction are separable. So we'll write an equation for y, the y value of the ball. It starts off at a certain height, we'll call that y0, and that's going to be 1.5 meters. And then, th so this is just a general equation v sub y times the time plus the acceleration in the y direction times the time squared. Okay, so in our case y0 is 1.5 meters. The v sub y, the initial y velocity, is 0. There's only an x velocity. And the acceleration in the y direction is just due to gravity. So we'll rewrite this here. y equals 1.5 meters. And gravity, we're going to define y in the up direction, gravity's in the down direction, so the acceleration is negative. I'm just going to write it as g initially, t squared. So there's our equation for y. Um, and what we've, we're going to need to do first is solve for t. So we'll write that at point B down here, we'll write that as T sub B, the time when the ball arrives there, is equal to two Okay, there it is. And so y0 again is 1.5 meters. h is shown right here. That's the height at which the ball arrives. Um, and we've got g, the gravitational constant, and we're working in, we're, we're going to want to work in meters, so it's 9.8 meters per second squared. And so there's our expression for t, and we can get let me write it down here. Uh, we'll say if h is 788 millimeters, which is 0 0.788 meters, then t, you can go plug that in, and t should be 0 0.381 seconds. Now if h is at the other, the top end of the strike zone, if it's at 1,068 millimeters, then the time to travel, it'll be less, and it'll be, if you plug it in, 0 
six eight seconds okay so we've got at one height the corresponding time at a second height the corresponding time now the question was what's what's the range of values of v0 that's the initial x velocity and so we're, we're working on the x component now and we can have write down that x equals x0 the initial position plus v sub x times the time plus the acceleration in the x direction t squared now wait a second I can see I made a mistake here this should be this should have a one half here and let's fix this um, they, I made a mistake earlier I hope you caught that let me go back and fix that it was right here this should have one half in front of it and you can see I I've been copying from my notes so although I missed this I did put the two in here so that's the correct equation for the time, but I, I, I wrote it wrong up here, and so I fixed this. Let's go back to uh, down here. Okay, x0 is going to be, this is 0. v sub x is what we were calling v sub 0, and this there's no acceleration in the x direction. We're throwing it in a vacuum. There's no air. And so that's going to be 0. And so we write it as x equals v0t. And the question is, what is the velocity? So we want to know the velocity. And that's simply, it must have been x at the, you know, the end distance and t. Uh, so we will write it this way x sub b that's x at the batter divided by the time at the batter here's the time at the batter for one case for another case let's look back up for a second and here is the distance to the batter 12.2 meters and so we've got 12.2 meters divided by t sub b We've got the two different t sub b's, and so the two different values, we get that v0 must have been between 148 kilometers per hour on the top end and 115.3 kilometers per hour on the bottom end. So it has to be between that, and that's the solution to A.